Sorry for taking so long to publish a video. I was thinking about making a video so I would have two videos playing at once. Two videos on the same screen. One video where I would be on Numbers, Apple spreadsheet program on my computer using my mouse cursor to bring your attention to things that I would be talking about and the other video playing at the same time as a spreadsheet video would be a video on my face where I would talk about what I would be pointing at in numbers. I was thinking it would be very difficult for me to make that style of video. So it will lead to me so it led to me procrastinating. I was I watched a video of a woman who put a picture of a spreadsheet on the screen. I got uh, $111.60 
that was like from my earnings in December, but I got paid for that in January. YouTube memberships, I only got $2.85. I only have two uh, members on YouTube. Uh, Patreon, I made $5.77. Um, there was a uh, Patreon takes a, a small cut and PayPal takes a cut. You uh, <laughs> transfer the money from Patreon to PayPal, or at least that's the way I do it. And they both take a cut of Patreon and PayPal. Um, I gave some rides to a co-worker and he gives me gas money. I take him home or take him from home to work. And I think the money total to about $35, but could be more though. Um, so total made in January 2023 is $3,028.76. Um, the total I made now for the money spent uh, $73.13 in electricity. Um, that's like, yeah, okay, so $52.74 is for uh, one load of groceries. Uh, I'm eating dinner at my parents' place a lot, and they're not charging me for dinner or anything, so it cuts down my grocery bill. $1,200.76, but 
it's probably more, like I said, in the style. I think I made more purchases of meals on my folio at work. And um, so the profit is $3,028.76 minus $1,276. That equals $1,828. I transferred $1,000 to a high interest savings account, a sinking fund for my vacation that I want to take in uh, uh, Patong, Phuket, Thailand. Uh, I'm not totally sure that I'll go there, but I probably will need at least $5,000 for a vacation. The hotel would cost me uh, about $1,142 for two weeks in Patong. I checked Expedia.com, uh, a website where you can book flights and hotels. The flight would cost about $3,000. And fifty-one dollars. I transferred four hundred dollars uh, to my credit card. Uh,
American Express green card because I could get points for purchasing flights. I think I will need to purchase a flight for my vacation, so it might make sense for me to get an Amex green card that has no annual fee like the credit card I have now. Um, but with the credit card I have now, uh, that gives cash back, I don't think I earn any uh, cash back on purchasing flights. When I bought this computer I'm using now, I wish I had a credit card that would give me points for the purchase. I just didn't think of that at the time. On YouTube, my RPM, my RPM was much higher last summer than it is now. Now my RPM is about $3. I remember it being higher last summer. Google defines RPM as revenue per milli. RPM is a metric that represents how much money you've earned per 1,000 video views. RPM is based on several revenue sources, including ads, channel memberships, YouTube premium revenue, super chat, and super stickers. Last summer, I was making over two hundred dollars per month from advertisements on my videos. Now I'm making a little over one hundred dollars. I think it's because in the summer I was running ads in the middle of my YouTube videos. Now I'm not running ads in the middle of my videos. I mostly have videos, or sorry, video ads at the start and end of my videos, so I'm making less money from advertisements. I don't want advertisements playing in the middle of my ASMR videos, as it ruins the experience when people are relaxing, and all of a sudden there's loud advertisements that play. But I will probably make this video again, but I'll use my normal voice. And for those videos with my normal voice, uh, I will put advertisements in the middle of the videos, making me more money. I think that ads in the middle of ASMR videos will ruin them, but if you're talking normally, advertisements in the middle of videos where I talk in my normal voice won't ruin the videos. I could upload ASMR videos where, oh sorry, upload not ASMR videos, but I can upload videos where I speak normally to my other channel, Simple 5005 Vlogs, but I would have to wait until I got 1,000 subscribers to make any money off of the channel. Reason for that is to make money from advertisements that YouTube puts on your videos. You have to be in the YouTube Partner Program. To apply for the YouTube Partner Program, you need at least 1,000 subscribers. So I don't think I want to wait for my other channel to grow to 1,000 subscribers. So if you see me upload a video that is not ASMR, don't worry, as I'm still going to publish ASMR videos on this channel. Also said viewers 
watched you 30% more often from recommendations on YouTube. Subscribers show us to watch you 53% more than usual after seeing your content in their subscription feed or notifications. So that's great. Um, I did my meter reading for my electrical bill. It felt good being responsible and doing my meter reading. In case you didn't know, there is a meter attached to the building that I live in. And it has a series of numbers on it that goes up, I think, as you use more electricity. Once a month, you can write down what the meter says and give the company that provides they give that to the company that provides your electricity. They then will then know what to charge you for electricity. I have been giving one of my co-workers a ride to work or a ride home from my work in, uh, in my car. He lives in my parents' car, should I say. He lives about a 15 minute drive from work. Before I was only accepting e-transfer, electronic transfers in from him for the gas money. I'm not really sure why. Now I started accepting cash for payments for rides. It's good. It's because I can easily use the cash to buy gas or to buy haircuts or I can put it on my folio at work. Cash can still be very useful. Uh, 
a bill from my electricity provider and I actually had a credit for some reason so I didn't know anybody at all that was after the um, electricity bill that I told you about it's because I'm barely riding the furnace that circulates warm air around my apartment it's only set at 10 degrees celsius right now so it's a little chilly when I'm sitting here in my bedroom I do run the baseboard heater but only when I go to sleep at night when I need it the reason why I turned down the furnace is because I got a bill for about $73 for less than half a month in my apartment I thought that was pretty high even when the heat turned up it wasn't all that warm in here anyways I'm still thinking about getting a space heater for around my desk either that or I could move my desk, desk uh, next to my baseboard heater in my living room what do you think I should do? I thought I'd hang clothes on my drying rack uh, to save money because I would have to pay for drying clothes. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, uh, drying clothes in the clothes dryer. My uh, checking account balance is $837.55. the cold. 
colder days. I think I walked outside almost every day last winter. It was nice to get out for a walk. I decided to turn uh, the hot air furnace on in my apartment. It just got too cold for me. So I was talking earlier about how I save money by turning off the furnace, I think, but or turning it down, but it just got too cold in here. Uh, here's a grocery haul that I did. It cost me $52.74, but I also bought a 720 milliliter, I think it was 720 milliliter anyway, um, iced tea, but I drank it so I didn't put it in the video. Uh, Tangerine is offering $400 cash back plus a 5% savings rate for five months if you become a client of theirs. Tangerine doesn't have brick and mortar shops, physical shops, where they have customer service agents working there. I think they offer no monthly fees on their accounts. That's awesome. That's Tangerine. And no, this video is not sponsored by Tangerine. 